breaking, Trump drops Russia bombshell, Dems are furious. Americans can no longer rely on the mainstream media as the source of nonpartisan news. They have been corrupted. Speaking with reporters during a meeting with Puerto Rico Governor Ricardo Roslo, President Trump referred to allegations that he colluded with the Russian government as a hoax. According to President Trump, the real Russian collusion scandal was the sale of Uranium One, approved by the United States government in 2010. If the media would cover the Uranium scandal. That's your Russia story, that's your real Russia story, President Trump said. By Uranium scandal. President Trump is referring to the controversial Uranium One agreement that was approved during former President Obama's time in office. In 2010, the State Department, under then-Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, and the Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States approved the sale of Canadian mining firm Uranium One to the Russian energy giant Rosatom. At the time, Uranium One controlled 20 percent of America's uranium reserves. While the deal was controversial when it was unanimously approved in 2010, a recent report by The Hill reveals more controversy in that the Russian government had engaged in a series of bribes, kickbacks, and extortion in their attempt to acquire a massive portion of the American uranium supply. For almost a year before the State Department decided on the sale of Uranium-1, the FBI had evidence that the Russian government was attempting to manipulate the American government. For example, before the vote, the FBI had knowledge that the Russian government was able to compromise an American uranium trucking firm via bribery. Additionally, around the time of the sale, Hillary Clinton was receiving massive donations to the Clinton Foundation from the chairman of Uranium One. Those donations totaled $2.35 million. This donation was never disclosed to the White House. However, Instead of informing lawmakers deciding on the Uranium One deal, the Department of Justice kept quiet and continued to investigate for four more years, long after the deal had been approved. Essentially, the FBI left the voting public in the dark about Russian corruption in the United States while the Obama administration was deciding on Russian strategic interests. Additionally, the mainstream media had knowledge of this shady deal for at least two years. In 2015, the New York Times reported that Hillary Clinton was receiving kickbacks from energy executives party to the agreement. Despite the clear evidence of corruption, the mainstream media has largely ignored the Uranium One scandal, to focus on allegations that President Trump colluded with Russia. Yet, in their dog hunt to uncover evidence of Russian wrongdoing, the mainstream media has completely let their journalistic integrity slip, with retractions being released at an alarming rate. In one particularly poignant example, CNN was forced to retract an article they published in June reporting that Congress had launched an investigation into a Russian investment fund with ties to Trump officials. The entire article was based on one anonymous source, and the three CNN employees involved in the story were forced to resign in disgrace. Accounting for the error, CNN admitted that the article did not meet their standards. In their rush to publish the latest gossip around President Trump, CNN completely abandoned their editorial standards and published fake news. This same zeal to be first to publish anti-Trump gossip is motivating the mainstream media to ignore evidence of Democrats' wrongdoing. Documenting President Trump's so-called scandal sell subscriptions, while rigidly reporting facts only interrupts the mainstream media narrative. That said, Americans must all be careful about the outlets from which they seek information. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. comments.